Hey, what are you looking? Looking at boy. Bat system activated. Bat system off. Oh! Bat system activated. Target selected. Target selected. Bat system off. Bat system activated. Bat system activated. Off. Bat system activated. Bat system Bat system activated. 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 Bat system. Bat system activated. Off. Bat system activated. Bat system activated. Bat system activated. Bat system activated. Bat system off. Bat system activated. Bat system off. Bat 
system activated. Bat system off. Bat system activated. Bat system activated. Wait, you're not who we thought you were. What are you in here looking around for anyway? Protector Noah Newman, formerly of the Fort Independence Outcast Regiment. My unit was excommunicated by Kasdan over a petty disagreement over how we were, and I quote, wasting our time snuffing out slaver camps and bringing the kids back to train into new nights. Our numbers are thin, and he'll never admit it because that would call his leadership into question. So don't waste your time asking Kazan about our unit, because he'll never acknowledge it. We're looking for a man that is broadcasting information regarding a pre-war facility that is in our best interest to locate and secure. We believe that while he may not know the exact location, he knows the general area to begin searching. He is traveling with three other people, whom we do not know the identity or appearance of. We followed you here from near Rivet City because we assumed he might still be here. Clearly, he is not. We want you to keep an eye out for him. His name is Samuel Decombe. This is what he looks like. If you see him, keep his location in mind. We'll come and find you. Don't bother trying to find us.
comes at last. Ah, you finally arrived. We've been waiting for you. I call it a gut feeling. You seem like the type to chase a real challenge. Even if you didn't, we would have found some other wastelander to do the job eventually. Of course, no one could have done the job as thoroughly as you if what we've heard about you is correct. Those two beside me, armed and at the ready, didn't tip you off? What, you thought they were protection from raiders? Slavers? Bah! They're here because I need protection from you. Anyone who's brave enough to take on Alistair Tenpenny is clearly someone who is not to be trifled with. You disabled the bomb at Megaton and fought off countless squads of Talon Company marks for it. At least that's my understanding of it. Your actions in Big Town are also held in high regard by the boss. We know that you managed to rescue two of their own from the mutant camp at the old police station in Germantown. You charged into that camp facing death, and you gave it the middle finger. You're someone that gets things done regardless of the risk. We have a job for you, and we're willing to pay well. Should you choose to accept the offer, we can get started immediately. I can't tell you more until we're safely away from the capital. You've been followed since you started following the breadcrumbs. Those outcast jerk-offs are an elite unit of soldiers. Probably the best of the best that the Brotherhood has to offer. You should also keep in mind that the man you met, Protector Newman, also has two brothers. Why is this important, you ask? Those brothers are also heavily involved in the original Brotherhood chapter, as well as the Enclave. The reason you should be nervous is that if all three of those guys are involved, then we're going to have all sorts of problems. Now, down to business. Are you going to help us out, or do you need more time to make a decision? Excellent. Meet us back at the original hideout. Our boat is parked just near the dock. Sup? You okay? Let's head inside the boat. Sam and the others will be here momentarily. Catch a nap or something. It's gonna be a long journey. Oh, is he finally waking up? Enjoyed the trip? Sorry, we didn't get to the boat in time to clear the area before you got there. Damn, Enclave soldiers. Both them and that outcast unit had been following you around from the start. Not a bright one. They actually took off running when you opened fire on them. You would think the vaunted Enclave would have a bigger backbone than that. Nah, those guys were just low-level grunts. No soldier worth their salt would just take off running when someone starts firing on them. Except for when they watch their buddy get their head blown off with a laser rifle. Yeah. How exactly did you manage that, Eyes? Yeah, that was probably an unlucky shot. I might have hit the power source. Just wanted to scare them off. We should be arriving any minute now. This trip is starting to drag on. Good thing Tank's good at fishing. Being a helmsman, not so much.
Major injuries detected. Should I be thrown into the tunnels for this? The fucking boat's over 200 years old. Obviously, something's gonna break eventually. I really feel like one of us should probably put the fire out. You're either going to fix this yourselves or give us the caps to do it. Hold on. Give me a minute, will you? I think we can resolve this without drastic measures. Oh. Can you help us out with this? This fat slob isn't gonna let us off the hook unless someone shuts him up. Hey, I heard that. Ah, oh, just talk to him. Maybe you can cool off the bacon. Mayor, I think I have someone you can talk to about our current predicament. Mind walking over here? You owe the town of Meritaport a lot of caps to fix the damage your boat caused to our dock. You heard me, kid. Cough him up. Or would you rather partake in some forced labor and fix it yourself? All I know is that you're the only one not talking, and I'm out of a hell of a lot of caps to fix all the stuff that that boat destroyed. Everyone in your group looked at you when I asked who was responsible for this, so all I can assume is that you were the one responsible. Simple. Now, unless you want to have fun with back-breaking labor, I think we need to come to an arrangement here. 47,000 caps should cover the damages. <laughs> I was messing with you the entire time. Welcome to Meritaport, my friends. Eh, don't worry about it. That old dock wasn't even used. It was going to fall apart anyways. Your boat just sped up the process, it seems. Anyway, enjoy your stay in our fine town. There's a bar and restaurant on the waterside. If you need to stay somewhere, the common house is nearby. Alright, people, nothing to see here. Just move along. So, that just happened. Hello? My head hurts right now. Shit. Make a drink. Go into that bar over there. We'll be at the bar. I need to talk to you, so head over there as soon as possible. A new quest has been added. Have a nice day, partner. Morning. Man, give me a minute to get hammered before you get the sledgehammer, too. What? This place kind of gives me a homely feeling for some reason. That's a place I haven't seen in years. Can't really even remember what home is. Hey, newbie. Finally decided to join us for a round, yeah? I suppose you're wondering just what in the blue hell is going on, and how you got dragged into this mess. Well, I'll be more than happy to explain. To put it simple, on this island, we believe there is a high security bank that hasn't been cracked since 2077. We want to know what's inside of it. It's rumored that there are loads of pre-war artifacts and high-value pieces of technology inside the bank vault. Now, to reiterate, we believe the vault hasn't been cracked since before the war. 
I'm sure there's plenty of clues on this island that will help us. However, since our genius navigator decided to shipwreck us in this armpit of a village, we're in a bind. So, I want you to go and find a way to the other side of the ravine that doesn't involve us taking a swim to the other side of the island. You had a pit boy that could use the navigational data that I obtained to help us find the shortest route to the island. I just decided to keep you on because you seem like a good kid and could use some extra caps. And believe me, there'll be loads more of those. When we're done here. Anyway, take eyes with you. I'm sure he'll be more than happy to assist you with his uh, technical knowledge. Good to see you. Glad you could finally meet up with us. So I'm sure Sam's told you that we're trying to find a way to the other side of the island. Well, first, we have to see if anyone knows where exactly the bank is on the island. And I think I may have that covered already. The barkeep, Natalie, told me that we could ask her father about the bank, since he would be the only decent source of information in this town. Then we'll head up to the old comm tower on the north end of town. The guards there may be able to help us access the rest of the island. Who are you, and what are you doing in my house? Oh, great. Someone else wants to walk into that bear trap. I guess you're dead set on getting in the vault, so I'm not going to hold you up. There's a town to the north, Clearbank. The bank's there. Don't know too much about getting the vault open, though. Have fun figuring that Rubik's Cube out. If you really want to get to the other side of the ravine, there's a house near the old comm tower with a bomb shelter underneath. The guard at the top of the tower will let you in. Don't know where the key for the bunker is, though. Might still be in the house. Hell if I know. So did everything I just say fly right over your head or what? I just told you I don't know how to crack it. That's on you. Now get out of my house. Mostly useless, as I expected. At least we got a general location out of him, if nothing else. Anyway, let's head on up to the comm tower and find a way to the other side of the island. Why are you up here? State your business. Not going to happen. You need Mayor Bailey's approval to travel through the tunnel. Only certain persons currently have the authorization. Talk to him if you want to pass through. You know, I always wondered what would happen if you gave a death claw some Jed. Uh, sorry, just rambling again. What do you need? My story? Uh, well, I don't really remember my birth father. My mother took my brother and me away for a couple years. But she went missing, leaving us to fend for ourselves. 
My brother, Jeremy, was kidnapped when he was nine years old. So, basically, I had to grow up and learn to survive on my own at a very young age. I made my way to the capital and joined the Brotherhood. I wasn't cut out to be a knight, so I trained to be a scribe. I left the Brotherhood when I was 22, and I've been on my own since. I joined up with Sam's group a few months back and used my connections in the Brotherhood to find nav data for Maddox Island. And that's basically it, really. It's a joke that Tank made about my glasses at stock. <laughs> Four eyes just became eyes. I wish there was more I could tell you, but that's it, really. Let's hit the road. Or what's left of it, rather. Well, hello, Doc Smasher. What can I do for you? Access to the tunnel, you say? Well, it costs money. 100 caps. Thanks. That'll go into the town fund. Here's the access pass. Take it back to the guard tower and they'll let you through. I'm on duty. Make it quick. Yep, that looks correct. I'll radio down to my guys at ground level to unlock the door for you. <laughs> 